every time I have a conversation with someone who doesn't have a lot of background in RCV, they just are so, especially election administrators, they feel sort of out to seat. They're not sure where to start asking questions, let alone what the answers might be. And one big part of that is their voting equipment because it's such a complex and, and complicated part of their jobs. When it comes to ranked choice, it's not just a matter of saying this person got five votes and this person got four, therefore this person won. It's a whole algorithm that needs to run where you know one person gets eliminated and so their votes transfer to someone else and there are lots of special rules. It can be tabulated using an Excel sheet, right? And, and uh, cities in, in Minnesota have done this where they actually still use an Excel sheet. But ideally, of course, um, you would be using voting machines that are able to really tabulate the vote immediately. There are various jurisdictions around the country who want to implement ranked choice voting, maybe even are legally required to, and then they just haven't done it because they don't have the technology. There are still a lot of older voting systems out there. We call them legacy voting systems that create barriers to running a ranked choice voting election smoothly and efficiently. And the comment that kept coming up over and over again is that we don't have any software to tabulate the vote with. Until we get, until we can tabulate the vote, we can't do it. And that was really what brought us into it. We said, okay, we've got to build a tabulator. It helps to think about what the tabulator actually operates on. The tabulator takes in cast vote record data. Cast vote record data just means a digital representation of how every voter ranked every candidate on their ballot. You can export your cast vote record from your election management software, import them onto a new non-internet connected computer with the tabulator on it, run the data through the tabulator, get your results. Each company has a different format or some companies even have multiple formats. What we have to do is write the logic that understands each of those formats and then we can process that data so that we're always applying the same ranked choice voting rules in the same way. There are like minor variations between the ranked choice voting laws in the different cities that use ranked choice voting. And the vendors found that hard to keep track of and didn't have the bandwidth to properly incorporate all that variation into their software, which was the thing that was keeping them from implementing ranked choice voting. There were no standards for ranked choice voting. None of the, none of the voluntary voting system guidelines address ranked choice voting at all. So that was another part of the, the barrier, is that the states would say, well, we don't have any standards for this. <laughs> it's a chicken and egg. So George Gilbert and I did that. We just like tore apart every uh, ranked choice voting statute in the country and helped Lewis and John and Hilton navigate how to create software that could count ranked choice voting according to those rules. We had some really outstanding programmers. The guys at Bright Spots are very good. They've spent literally hundreds of hours uh, at no cost. So we offer the tabulator at no cost to anyone who needs it. And we are the first ever open source software to get tested by a Vistal. And while we can't technically get certified because we're not a whole voting system, we still met every standard required of us, which makes us usable in more than half of the states. More than half of the states can adopt the universal ranked choice voting tabulator now.